Welcome to a not super safe part of Delaware. This right here is a spot that I have not fished in forever for a bunch of different reasons. I mean, I haven't been in Delaware, but also, as I said, it's not in the nicest area, but there are some potentially giants in here. Like when I say giants, I'm not talking about no pond giants. Like these are true river slash tributary giants. Fish around this area can get really, really big in these waterways and uh, hopefully we can find one of them today. We're also going to be doing some pretty cool fishing today too. I'm excited, man. Here is the river slash creek. Let me just give you a tour of the area real quick. We got glass, 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 trash, 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 rubber gloves, rubber gloves. I have no clue what sort of substance that is in that water bottle right there. But yeah, this is it, man. This is where dreams are made of. So as you guys saw, we stopped at the grocery store real quick. Let me just do a little grocery store haul real quick. We got some bowls, three large bowls. This is a steal, man. It's like three bucks. We've got some ingredients right here if you guys if you guys know you know got some bread crumbs jello some corn the only freaking corn that had a pull tab was the organic corn so that was like at least an extra dollar or two price gouging us fishermen i gotta keep carrying that can opener with me this is a spot where years ago we did some catfishing caught some big catfish apparently there's big carp in here striped bass i mean there's so many different types of species that could be in this body of water but today we're going to be focusing May, oh, whatever really bites on anything can really bite this but carp and catfish i would love to catch a citation of one of those which if you guys don't know delaware has this cool like program where if you catch a certain size fish you get an award which is a citation it sounds bad but it's actually good uh we just got one this year for rainbow trout if you guys haven't seen that video link down in the description below today we're gonna try to catch some bigger fish and see if we can get, get another award. Like if you get five awards in one year, you get a special award. And it's kind of, it's kind of cool. It's like collecting Pokemon gym badges. I just want to catch a fish today. So that, I guess that's goal number one, right? Let me get one of these bowls out here. Oh, hello. By the way, it's a roasty toaster. It's like in the 90s. There's a slight breeze, but it's freaking hot. We are going to be making a pack bait. And then let me show you this rig. So I actually custom made a rig i didn't make this this is actually a method feeder you guys will see so we'll make pack bait we'll pack it to this and then it'll slowly hopefully feed whatever's out there but this is also like a weight and then on that we will stick this little hook but this is what i created hopefully i did this right this is a homemade hello homemade hair rig so this is a little live bait hook this is fake corn two pieces and that is a twig and uh, i could go in depth later if you guys want to know like how to tie this basically you pack the bait in here you stick this in there once they eat everything or you know if they just see this corn floating which it does float they'll hopefully strike that and uh yeah it's, it's supposed to be really effective i've tried this one time before in a pond and it it crushed it if this doesn't work i mean i have other just bottom rigs and just random stuff high low stuff that i could tie on carp fishing people they'll tell you like this is a, this is a fire rig hopefully i i'm doing them justice by making it myself okay so this is just panko breadcrumbs again this is it's organic. This is gluten and dairy free. I don't freaking dude. Where do you find panko breadcrumbs in the grocery store? I have no freaking clue. I was literally walking around forever. Every victory has its battle struggles at the beginning. So this is just a uh, package of strawberry Jello. Let me know if you guys make pack bait. Let me know your secret mixtures and stuff. I mean, people get super creative with it. I've seen lots of different things. So we're just gonna mix that together. Boom smells fruity all right back to business the school bus almost demolished my truck over there but all we're gonna do is pour a lot of this in there corn 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 that looks mushy and gushy oh yeah don't you just want to eat that <laughs> all right then to test it out does that pack pretty good no Might have been too wet or maybe not wet enough. All right, so for the most part, I think we're gonna be good. Let me grab this. There's a tool for this, but I'm just gonna literally, yeah. Oh, there we go, it's sticking. Kinda, boom. So that's gonna be super stinky, super flavorful. And then we're just gonna stick the hook Sure. Hey, this is my second time doing this. So if you guys, again, have any tips or like, if I'm doing something super wrong, let me know. Real quick, let's put the rod holder in. It's like solid concrete. 
Oh, there we go. Woo! Send it. Kadoosh. Just let it get to the bottom. Now the tide is moving pretty decent, but hopefully this should be pretty good. Put it in our rod holder and loosen that drag. Boom. All right, we're fishing, man. Whew. Should have packed this in there. Boom. Sheesh, I mean, that, that looks good to me. Looks good, it smells good. And tomorrow, it is supposed to rain. In theory, you know, fish are supposed to feed pretty good before the rain. Yeah. Hopefully that's stuck, kinda. All right, boom. Rod number two, rod number one. I guess this is a nice, interesting little bench to sit on. Whoa, not my pack bait. Okay, this is kind of sketchy. For some reason, there's like no less than 10 cop cars that just zoomed up right over near where I parked. What do I do about that? I feel like I shouldn't go over there, but it's kind of sketchy. Bro, I should probably not be, I should probably not be here. Right, I'm gonna pack this stuff up. I told you guys, I was in like a sketchy part of town. This is not, uh, I've never seen anything like this. There's like 12 cop cars. I feel like I hear more coming. I don't know if something just happened right here or what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these out of the ground real quick. We're gonna get in the truck. Oh, there's still a car right there. Did he run out? What is going on? Look at this. What is going on? How's it going? Is everything good? Yeah, everything's good. Probably a good idea to back hey, it up for today. Yeah, what? Well, can I ask what's going on or no? Oh, just somebody in the woods that needs to come out of the woods, that's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nobody's heard anything. I'm done fishing. All right, man. Have a good one. Have a good one, man. That is no less than 20 cops. <laughs> Did you hear that? He, I, 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 I mean, I'll look at the news later. Um, looks like somebody was trying to 
escape the cops. So yeah, when I when I say I'm going fishing in like a sketchy area, look another cops rolling up right here. Holy oh, there's a cop up here that's blocking the road. Can I just get out of here? Like this whole road is just. Y'all got any clue what's going on? Uh, I guess they chased somebody down there and they ran into the woods. Stolen cars for three kids and then oh, they wow. ran into the woods behind our place. Yeah, I was just fishing over there and a bunch of cops just... <laughs> there's like, yeah. And they were like, oh, I guess I got to go. Yeah, I was like, oh, I should get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't have my license. No. <laughs> there's another cop right there. Okay, I'm on a curb. Let me get off said curb. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's get out of here. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. There's like a stolen car in there. <laughs> what the freak? Am I in Grand Theft Auto? You know, it's pretty crazy to think about like if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't know. Like imagine that person who was driving. They could have like come over to me and done that movie thing where they like put you in a chokehold. And I don't know. I'm just lucky they didn't run my way. They literally were right near me, but they ran to the right instead of to the left. That's probably the last time I've fished there for a while maybe ever some days you catch fish some days you get skunked some days your fishing spot becomes a crime scene this video is going to be a little bit different but i uh, am yeah, if you guys go down there hit that thumbs up button it really would mean a lot a lot of cooler fishing stuff coming out in the near future hopefully less police involved things i'm just happy to be like i mean you never know you know as always thank you guys so much for all the support let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching see you next video